Oh, g'day Harry. You know apples aren't affected by gravity? What do you mean they're not affected by gravity? Really? Yeah, dude. Dude, just trust me. Trust. 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 There's got to be some way I can test that. The scientific method. Step one. Define the problem. Well, we don't have a problem this idiot thinks that apples aren't affected by gravity. So that's our problem. Now, we go to step two, which is gather some background information. Now I know that this guy right here discovered that they fall like 100 years ago or something. Longer than that, 200 years ago. Step three, we'll go up now. That's the big one. That's the formal hypothesis. That's basically just us going, what is gonna happen? Is the apple gonna fall or is it not? Crazy. Step four, we'll make some observations and we also need a plan. So we know that when we drop just about anything, it falls. So there's an observation. So planning our experiment, what we really need to do is drop a few apples. All right, let's test it. majority apples do fall and are affected by gravity and that means we've disproven our hypothesis that apples aren't affected by gravity. 